The farming industry is using AI in agriculture to reduce labor costs, identify threats to crops, and provide farmers with real-time information that can shape their yields. Root AI is a generative tool created for the Canadian agricultural and food industry by Farm Credit Canada. So farmers here are using it to give their crops a leg up in the industry, st struggling right now with labor shortages. Nicole Hayes is director of Farm Credit Canada's Innovation Hub, and she's joining us now with more on how farmers are using AI. Good morning. Good morning. So where is AI being used right now in farming? Yeah, so with many industries, you know, we're seeing that AI is helping with office tasks. And in agriculture, tools like Root are really giving farmers real-time recommendations on crops, inputs, funding, and helping them make decisions on the ground faster and more reliable. It can help them tackle things like plant health issues more quickly and easily and it allows them to be more precise by using just the right amount of water, fertilizer, and pesticide, so nothing goes to waste and the environment benefits too. Is this a game changer? Absolutely, it's a game changer. In agriculture, you know, it's all about risk management and, and it's really about protecting the farmers with uncertainty. And so what AI allows producers to do is better predict the weather, market, shifts and input needs that can make them more confident in their decision making. We also see it helping boost productivity by fine tuning things like planting times, irrigation, fertilizing and even harvesting, which means that our farmers are getting bigger yields with less guesswork. And Root's really able to take things one step further by translating all those insights into practical recommendations that our farmers can use right away. Yeah, I want to ask you about that. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Root AI. This is a chatbot. So give me an example of how that would be used in, in farming. Yeah, absolutely. So it could be used with something as simple as taking a picture of a crop. So you can take a picture of your crop if you feel like it's being faced with a disease. You can upload it to that tool and it'll actually walk you through um, an assessment of what we believe is wrong with that crop and some steps that you could follow to actually help treat that crop. So really about giving farmers that information from reliable sources in a quick and fast way, anytime, anywhere. Is this type of AI replacing jobs or filling the gap? No, we do not see this as filling or as uh, filling any jobs. Uh, ag agronomists and on-farm experts remain essential in agriculture. And AI is just gonna help augment their work. It really allows them to become more focused on those complex needs that farmers need that help with. And so AI-driven insights will really expand the reach for these experts and help them guide farmers tackling some of the toughest challenges we face today. Speaking of tackling, I'm wondering about sort of the other side of this is getting people on board, getting farmers on board with this type of technology. What's that process been like? We've seen great uptake since the launch of this product. And we do realize that it is an opportunity for us to educate producers on how to use tools like this properly and how how to feel comfortable by integrating something like this into their daily life. And that's something that we're looking to do proactively right now as an organization. Nicole Hayes, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. If you like that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed, where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.